I'm here at um, Port Hughes, which is on the York Peninsula. So it's, uh, it's to the west of, uh, of Adelaide. It's an absolutely beautiful spot. Um, there's some lovely jetties all along this coast. And uh, uh, yes, so there's jetties galore. Um, I had to rush out, wasn't expecting uh, to shoot this evening anyway. Um, but we had an early tea and hey, it looked like the sun was going to kick off. I'm not sure whether the colour's going to last uh, because I, I didn't anticipate a thick band of uh, cloud on the horizon, the one that's just give us those crepuscular rays, and it may just snuff out any lasting colour across the scene, but, but fingers crossed, you never know. So you've got to be in it, I suppose. You've got to be out to get the shot, and that's what we are. Foreground, including Rafi there. So... I'll probably have to focus like this. So I'll put the 1.2 and the 0 0.9. There you go. Now I just have to make sure that that, there you go. Get rid of that vignette in the top right hand corner. You can see it there. Just release that. We don't need that. Um, yeah, what can be simpler? Jetty coming in. I want to capture those clouds, including those god rays that are up there, those crepuscular rays. So let me just, just grab that, fifth of a second. Come here, you. Yeah, that's it. Come here. Come here. Hold the way. Let's throw you a stone, eh? What's that? There you go. Let's just focus. Let's capture that. Nice. Beautiful, because I do really like those clouds and the light so i'll take a couple of those and what i will do is i'm probably just going to take the same just halfway through that jetty and you'll notice the people there on there on silhouette i don't mind that and now i'm going to throw on a a grad because i want to smooth out that water so i have a 10 stop here with me so I'm hoping that would should be enough. Whoops, a daisy. What did I forget? I forgot that I need to lock my focus on something. So about a third of the way in. This will probably be a 16 by 9 as we now have to get Raffi out. Raffi, come on, this way. This way. Come on. And I was hoping for around a two minute exposure. Don't want too much more than that. Remember, we have the sky from before. Um, so really, I'm only looking for a two minute exposure-ish. Let's get those rocks in. ISO 200, two minutes. Let's go. And that should give me completely smoothed out water. We've caught those crepuscular greys. Uh, we've caught the many people on that uh, on that jetty. So um, once this is done, get her home, combine it all in Photoshop, and then uh, if it works out, I'll post it now. And I suppose the benefit of being under the jetty is that we don't have to um, concern ourselves uh, with people. So uh, I suppose that's, that's an added benefit. 
what we do need to be is to make sure that we are absolutely accurate with the placement of our tripod so let's come down to about 20 seconds i'm just going to lift out this tent stop it's not required at the moment and i just want to make sure that we are central and then you can see that right hand side so we're central and you can see that right hand uh, side is a bit out and it could be the actual jetty itself um, because one is actually substantially thicker than the other um, but we want to make it around equal and then what I can do is just pull in and we lose that first two posts and there we have our um, let's make sure that we're central yet again there we go and we have to get the Raffi out come on here Raff come here come here I might have to focus stack this um, I'm gonna focus first on that first rock come here Raff come here let's make sure I get that can't do two things at once come here come here is that rock oh that's solid there you go and let's throw you off to one side there you go let's uh let's quickly adjust our settings we're gonna have to do two shots i believe one to capture that sky so I'm just going to focus further in a third of a second there we go nice and bright there we go one more just to make sure we've got it and we have and now again I'm going to lock in on that boulder probably don't need the 10 stop I can probably do away with the 10 and use a 6 and that should give us a 20-30 seconds probably add 20 seconds to smooth out that water let's hope so go the right way this time Twenty seconds. Let's give that a go. The sky is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, most of the lilacs are on the right-hand side. So after we've done this, we're going to quickly run to the right and see if we can capture that sky. That's where the interesting clouds are. So with this, I should be able to do it in two two shots. First one here second one further in and I will do one one more at that point where I'll do it for about a minute and try and get all the detail I need oh this gorgeous I'm just hoping I can catch the light on the on the right hand side and while we're waiting three two and one we'll get that one I'll just ring this up the other way to 50 seconds to catch some detail.
So we'll bring this ISO down and we'll do the 50 seconds focused. Just gonna check, just gonna check that polarizer. Just wanna make sure there's no horrible vignette. Let's go with that. Go with that. So uh, I'm gonna focus a few times along this jetty and then I'll do an ultra long one um, for the um, clouds. And the main thing now is just to be mindful of the sky and we haven't blown anything out, which is fantastic. There's a beautiful red glow on that side. So I'm gonna do another one, most of the way down the jetty. Just like that. Oh, beautiful. No, no, um, nothing blown at all. So I'm got, what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm just going to do one at two minutes. Now this will blow the sky, but I want to, I want to get it bright enough to get enough um, detail underneath this jetty so um, so that we can blend the two together just in case I've got to paint in some more some uh, some of that um, detail now I could have raised the ISO um, and it wouldn't really have mattered uh, I, uh, I, I usually uh, alternate between those techniques raising the ISO raising the shutter speed but I'll raise the shutter speed in this case because I might get a more pleasant blurring of those of those uh, clouds so for me it's a it's a double benefit um, so that's that's what we're going to do and of course we, we'll wait 10-15 minutes for after that sun to go down and see if we get any sort of uh, afterglow and that'll be well worth hanging on for if we do get it so fingers crossed I think what we're going to do, we're going to move back a little bit, widen this, shoot further towards the end and try and capture um, some of this foreground rock. Quite nicely pointing its way towards the end of that jetty. So I'll probably come over here and there's a nice contrast between the reds, the blues and the yellows on that horizon. And again, there's not a lot going on in the sky so we can pretty much ignore that. There we go, and I think again, we won't need our six stop. That sun's just dipped. So I'll just put that away for the moment and see what we can get without any filters at all. And then we may add in a, a three stop if it's not long enough yeah one and a half seconds to a second isn't long enough six stop will give us a minute mm, that's possibly enough I think what I want to do is really emphasize this foreground I think the majority of these are going to be 16 by 9 anyway so if that's the case I want to try and reduce some of this middle ground which means dropping the camera down just a bit more so let's go all the way down quite low and what that'll do is help to minimize some of that mid ground if Rafi would jump out the way 
and uh, maybe raise this a touch. Now there you can see that foreground rock sort of holding that bottom at bay so I think I'm probably going to have to um, exposure blend this as well. So it's giving us one and a half seconds. I'm going to take that for that foreground rock. So we better focus in on that. If that's going to be our foreground, we will get that. And then I'll take that rock as well. We are going to do a long exposure and smooth that water out. So that we will do focused in on that jetty. And as we said, if we put a six stop on, that should give us a minute. And I've got plenty of leeway with the uh, ISO, so I can lower that and put it up to, well, whatever I want, you know, two, four, eight minutes, just by adjusting that ISO. Um, so let's, let's go up and that should give us a minute, which it does to expose for that sky. If I come down, I will get longer. Um, a lot of these people are not going to move anyway. Um, I have got it from the shorter shot if I want to paint the people in themselves. Um, but the longer the better in terms of um, uh, me capturing some of that movement with some of those blared away. So I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to lower the ISO uh, quite significantly. Four shots, so that gives us one, two, three. It's very close. Oops, a daisy. It's very close. Eight minutes. The light is going down steadily. I'm just looking. I just want to double check by having a look at that histogram. I've got a feeling it's very close. We should be okay. So if that's the case, I'm going to go eight minutes. Thank you very much for joining me here at Port Hughes. Um, we've had a great time. Rafi is still having a great time out there. I hope this impromptu shoot worked out. Um, no planning, just nearest jetty, shot down, take a few shots. Um, hopefully a combination of um, focus stacking, exposure blending, uh, the typical fur. Um, I, I hope they've worked out, um, but yes, but either way, what a beautiful, beautiful way to spend an evening. Um, so, listen, once again, thank you very much. Please look after yourself, look after your loved ones. Until next time, see ya.